Is, is this a big issue for us? Well, if it's if you are speaking for all Hispanic people, then I you know I, I always will do. defer to your distinction between. Uh, well, that's very very noble of you. Uh, I, I I don't have the opportunity to do that for Anglo people. I'm I'm dis I'm surprised that you have found Hispanics to be a monolithic uh, a group of people. I've not found that myself. But uh, if that's your view, let me say I came here to talk intelligently, rationally, and calmly with you. Okay. I have now spent with you. Uh, excuse me, seven minutes talking about uh, the past. If you want to do that, that's fine. I have A, corrected that story, as I said. B, I've explained to you the context of it, the fact it was four years ago. Uh, so, I, I mean, I don't know what more to say to you other than that. And by the way, in that correction, we even pointed out, in, by the way, in a report, that uh, those uh, with leprosy in this country on that registry primarily originated in the views of public health officials from Southeast Asia. Uh, and, and you're quite aware of that as well. Uh, and it's one of the sad things to me, Maria, is that people conflate uh, because the left wing in this country and ethnocentric interest groups have drawn a straight line equation. Hispanic equals illegal immigrant. That is the construction of those activist groups, not of anyone, no one else is doing that. Well, Certainly not me. Let, let, now, I'd be delighted to talk about any other issue you would like. Okay, well, and the I thing is that... I thank you for the chance to clarify that. The, 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 we'll not go, we're not going to go any more into the details of that particular uh, case, no, but, but your critics claim that, well, you have a, a right to your opinion, and we all agree with that. Those opinions are sometimes based on erroneous and based information, and the reason why this particular case is, is relevant is because for that report, the person that the expert that you used was a, a medieval scholar who was neither uh, a, a medical doctor nor a leprosy expert, and it was a woman who had no credibility whatsoever with the scientific community, and 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 this was a, an anti-immigrant okay. extremist, and this is relevant because this is the same kind of person. And again, you were the managing editor. You decide who goes in your show. You evaluate all these people, and this is an well, expert. I, I, this is an expert that that okay. said that Mexican men have a habit of molesting children because back in their home villages, rape was not as serious a crime as cow stealing. So, so I'm also the managing editor of my show, and when we're going to have a story in my program, like you do, I evaluate who are the experts that are going to be talking, and if I see that somebody so far-fetched and says something so crazy as that comment, <coughs> that person will not be in my show because he has no credibility. Maria, hmm? uh, do you... Uh I, I can't believe one. Uh, are you saying that you've never made a mistake on your? Of error? course, but I admit the them. You know the I admit them, and I, and I, I admit them. Not like you did in, in 60 minutes, where you said I by stand way, by thing. There's, by there's, the this is a factual information. I would just give the benefit of the doubt. I said, well, maybe we made a mistake. Let me look into it. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, th that by the way, I wish I had said. Don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, and, uh, and frankly, uh, I, I don't know about you, but I probably erred in protecting my correspondent as much as I did. Uh, and that is also a reflex. And for that, uh, you know, I, you know I, I both regret it uh, and at the same time wish I'd phrased it differently. But the point is, are, are you saying that you know the background of every person that you put on your air, that you've never mis made a mistake? Because you're a far better uh, Absolutely not. I, I would never I've claim that. Mistakes. No, I would never claim okay. that. But if so it's going to be not, something not so controversial, that, I will try to Maria, look into it. Maria, it's time, it's time for you to let me speak now, please. Absolutely. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. One, the woman, and I don't recall her name, that was referred to in an ad lib, and I think it would be nice if you acknowledge to your audience that occasionally something is said on a set in an ad lib that is not, that has not been screened by editors. Uh, and that uh, often that we wish we had uh, not said. But the reality is that that same woman who was writing in the Journal of Physicians and Surgeons, as I recall that was the name of the publication, I had an authoritative standing. We did not know her background. If any one of my, I mean, my God, do you think any one of our people is that uh, either stupid or insensitive that we would have put that person on the air had we known that? Let me give you, to tell you how, uh, uh, ironic it is because the left has tried to use an extraordinary amount of propaganda around this. The New York Times ran her obituary uh, later and and it was a glowing obituary. The New York Times did not know about that hor horrific racist uh, uh, vile 
uh, position that she had taken and the statements that she had made. Uh, so, I mean, we weren't exactly alone in that, in not knowing her background. I, and obviously, for God's sake, I mean, if we had known that, she would have been uh, absolutely not part of that broadcast. Well, granted, we all made mistakes, and I'm glad that this was clarified, that you see it as a mistake. Okay. I'm not a crook.